Honorable members, Mr. Speaker. The afternoon plenary session of parliament commenced with empty seats on the opposition wing. It was the result of a deliberate decision taken by the opposition to protest the second brutal rearrest and detention of two of their members, the Kawembe North Member of Parliament, Mohamed Sejirinya, and Makindia West Representative, Alan Sewanyana. The duo are facing charges related to the spate of killings in Greater Masaka. Effective today, we are going to keep away from the proceedings of the House even tomorrow, until this pressure is mounted to even call off the House. They weren't bothered that the House would continue without their participation. When you are the minority, so even if you are there or not, it doesn't matter. But I just want to at the same time take the opportunity to warn my uh, good friends in the NRM who are bragging about numbers. We are in an abnormal situation. We can't behave normally in an abnormal situation. This government, uh, issues of constitutional matters, rule of law, and human rights are not respected. So we have decided to boycott whatever business of parliament uh, until the situation normalizes. During the plenary session, Speaker of Parliament Jacob Olanya condemned the conduct of the security agencies with reference to how they dealt with the members of parliament. A member of parliament should not be arrested by a police constable. Because for them, they, they don't know the rules. Even if they know, sometimes they, 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 they exceed the limits. So that there is that rapport and respect for office and title as well. Olanya also told the House that he wouldn't have exerted pressure on the government side had he known that the Deputy Speaker had been served with the summons for the arrest of the NUP MPs. At the time of the proceedings, I was not yet briefed about what transpired before. But later, when I left chambers, I was informed by the deputy speaker that actually she had received the summonses from the police. However, members argue that the time within which it was transmitted to parliament accorded no opportunity for the MPs to be served. If you knew that you had taken a position to arrest, why did you now want to involve the office of the speaker? And yet you knew you were not sincere with those summons to the office of the speaker. Mohosi was tasked to apologize. The issue was, did you give the speaker the criminal summonses before the arrest? They, 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 they were... And if not, why? And if it was wrong, apologize to us, that's what he was saying. Transmission, sir, I think delayed, and uh, I want to apologize for that, and uh, we move on. At no moment did the leader of government business in parliament nor the chief whip indicate during the Tuesday session that any of the offices of the leaders at parliament had been served with the summons. Jackson Onyango, NTV. A member was complaining, he's sick, he's ill.